near and joined thyself to, to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Hey, he answered that. Understand what thou readest? Watch what he said. And watch what he said. Watch what he said. Go ahead. Go right there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? So you need a teacher. Come. And yeah. he was standing. That Jake was standing before his teacher, but he just didn't want to accept it. He wanted to teach. You see? He didn't want to accept it. All right, man, that's a hard head to take. All right, and that's why we read that scripture in Matthew 8 and 3. 18 and 3, right? You must become as a little child. Matter of fact, give me Isaiah 6, 6 and 2. Isaiah 66 and 2. For well, all those things have mine hand made, and all those Let's things. Start at one. It's a lot. 66 and 1. Thus says your Lord Yahweh, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye built unto me? Question. And where is the place of my rest? Question. For all those things have my hand made. All those things have been said, said Yahweh. But to this man, I will look even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembling at my word. Who did tremble at the, at the heavenly father's word? You see, he wasn't trembling. He wasn't in fear because if he knew, if he knew the truth, then he would have been in fear right there. He would have known that we were the men of the Lord telling the truth. Okay. But he, 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 he handcuffing his old lady, right? He, 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 said, he said, we out here to file him out. He walked across the room. All right, man. Dude, bugged out, man. I got one for him right here. Hebrews 5 and 12. For when, for the time, he ought to be teachers, he need that one teach you again. Because that's what he thought he was. That's why he wanted to take the platform wow. like he going to teach us, right? It says. It wasn't making no sense. Come that ye need that one teach you again, which is the first principle of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Come. Uh, you see. tried to go into Revelation, that's strong meat. Uh, the eunuch, that was meat. That was meat. Yeah, I know you Israelite. <laughs> <laughs> that was meat. <laughs> Obviously. It feeds it with meat to it. He's not the same. <laughs> All right, man, you bite now more than you can chew. <laughs> Cut. So? You, know? you bite now more than you can chew, man. And, uh, <laughs> the oracles are the same as these scriptures, man. Uh -huh. He didn't understand none of them. He was quoting like, hey, well, let me, well, the brother say, well, hey, where's that in the nation? He's a, he's a learned man of the scriptures. He just said Revelation 7. If he didn't know the verse, he at least gave us the right. chapter. Yeah, he, didn't even he ain't right. know nothing, man. Know. Yep. You know? And if he said he didn't know, I would have told him. I would have took him to it. But yeah. you know me, I like to yeah. like see. That's yeah. how I job. That's how I am. I like to see. Okay. Well, 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 all right, brother, get that. If I don't know where the brother, get that strong course. We finna go there because I want to see what you yeah. got to say. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't finna run. You taking out running. Yeah. I'm not. The old lady, you know? that old demon whispered in his ear and then he had to go. Yeah. You know? She told him, she told him, get out of here, you get cut up. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked flea. But no man was so, right? Right? Uh -huh. right? You know? Yeah, so the old woman told him to throw in the towel, man. Yeah, you get it. All right, finish that off in Acts. I got you. It's uh, Acts uh, 8 and 31. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Uh, the place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before his shearer, so opened he not his mouth. Verse 33. In his, in his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. Uh, uh, verse 34. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, 
of whom speaketh the prophecy of himself or of some other man. So who is he talking about? Yahweh Shai. Oh. Okay? He's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Yahweh Shai. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And, F and Philip said, If thou believest with all, all thine heart, thou mayest. He answered and said, I believe that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High Yahweh. Right. He said he believed. Right. God. Verse 38. God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went both down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they, uh, so like, and when they were come up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. God. But Philip was found at Azotus, and was passing through. He preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. Uh, I was a man of the Lord, right? He was a man of the Lord, right? And then that was an Israelite that he was talking to. Come. Hey, man, the Heavenly Father's not going to give this gift to another nation, man. Put faith on another nation so he can believe on his son. <laughs> How are you going to break down John 6 and 60? Uh, I mean, John 6 and 44. How are you going to break that down? Come. No man come up unto me unless the Father draw him. So the Father had to draw him, right? Put him in them, put him in them scriptures to search him, right? And he sent Philip to get him. And then Philip was asking about who was he talking about? And he says, he said, who was that another man? He, he knew. Talking about Yahweh Shai. And they believed, and he believed. So that comes with faith. Okay? That comes with faith, man. He's not gonna give his gift to no other nation, man. That's a stumbling block, man. To you, Jake, man. Hey man, this this Bible, man, this Bible. Hey, matter of fact, give me one of that. Yes. Romans 11. Romans 11. And I uh, started about. Man. I will start at one. Gun. It goes in Romans 7. I know you want 7. It says. Romans 11 to 1, I say, then, have the Most High cast away his people? No. The Most High forbid. For I am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Verse 2, the Most High have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Walk ye, walk ye not. All right, you know what that word cast mean? Reject. The Most High have not rejected his people. Okay? Uh, is that what that word cast me? Reject. Go ahead. What ye not what the scripture says of Elias? How he make an intercession to the most high against Israel, saying, Lord, Yahweh, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Verse 4. But what said the answer? of the most high unto him question i have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of baal give me first king give me first king uh 19 and uh 18, 18. right now let's see now let's see what they're talking about first they king. Say, let's see what they're talking about first kings 19 and 18 and it says yet i have left I had left me 7,000 in Israel. All the knees which have not bowed unto Baal. See there? And every That's why precept upon precept, line upon line. When you go there, who is say? Israel. That have not bowed their knees. So that seven is a completion. Because them slicks, because they read, they probably be saying, uh, well, that's talking about any, anybody that believes. You see, you know saying, that's it, why it, the Bible it, says precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. God. We show you through the Spirit, man. Before God. we had first I'm going to finish that. It says, 
Hey, it's a lot of, it's a lot of heat in there. But, uh, I'm uh, I had like another line to go. Says, yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. Boy, we at that one. Hey, really jump to, watch this here, man. I'm gonna show you something, man. Jump, jump to, uh, jump to, uh, 18, right? And read all the way down, jump start at 13, and read all the way down, 18. 19. First King, 18, 18 and 13. 18 and 13. Right. God, it says, Was it not told my Lord what I did when, Jeze when Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord Yahweh? How I hid a hundred men of the Lord Yahweh's prophets by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water? Question. And now thou sayest, Go tell thy Lord. Behold, Elijah is here. And he shall slay me. And Elijah said, As the Lord Yahweh of hosts liveth, behold whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. Verse 16. So Obadiah went to meet uh, uh, Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubled Israel? Question. And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou in thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord Yahweh, and thou hast followed by all. So by Allah. Ahab and Jezebel by were killing the prophets, so the men of the Lord. Okay? Because they were uh, uh, bowing down to an idol, okay, and have forsaken the heavenly father. Now watch this here. Jump down to 25. Verse 25, And Elijah said unto the prophet of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourself, and dress it first. For ye are many, and call on the name of your God, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and call on the name of Baal from morning, evening, until noon, saying, O oh, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. All right, simple. Simple. All right, Mike. So go right, so go back up so you can hear it again. Gone. Go back up. It says, it make you, hey, man, look here. Just for our learning. You yeah. find out Jake was simple as hell. It says, and Elijah said unto the prophet of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourself and dress it first. For ye are many, and call on the name of your God, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and call on the name of Baal from morning, evening, until noon, saying, O oh, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any, nor any that answered. Who is Baal today? There you go. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. See there you go. Right, that's what they're going to be thinking. Right, that's what they're going to be calling on when a tornado hit them, yeah. earthquake hit them, martial law hit them. They're going to be thinking about this right here. <laughs> hey, they always do it. Hey, man, they always do it. Mike, when you was sitting there, when you was sitting there talking, he had a new world order spirit on. Talking yeah. about everybody can be saved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the thought process of Caesar Bo Diddy. And Caesar Bo Diddy didn't even care about everybody. He was trying to get his own. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to get back in himself. He lost everything. But in the process, he got put to death and pulled off the horse. You know what I'm saying? He left neck. Uh, it says, Go and they... And, and they leaped upon the altar which was made. Meaning they were dancing around and all that dancing stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Jake. They were calling on sweet Jesus last week when the storm come through. I heard them. In the name of Jesus, the, the, the tree didn't follow my house. I was like, God, they, they get out and fight. It's like, super Jesus. <laughs> got their light bulb come down. Yeah, yeah, light bulb. Yeah. Give them the stock tree. Yeah. Right, come right down. Go, go ahead, go ahead, bro. <laughs> bro keep going. Right, it's gonna get funny though. It what? says, verse 27, and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked him and hey, said, Did the prophet make fun of, them, uh, fun of Israel? Yeah! yeah. Right. They laughed at him. Yeah. You can just imagine what 
nigga what he was saying under his breath yeah. while he was mocking him. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. John, and said, cry aloud, for he is a God. Say, he told look, cry aloud, there's a God right there. <laughs> he said, either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or free adventure, he's sleep. Yeah, they told you how God It must be awakened. He ain't up. Wake him up. He's Why he put no fire up under there? He making fun of him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Believing in something else. Yeah. The idol that they made up. Hey, right, go ahead. Yeah. Done. And they cried aloud and cut themselves they after the matter with knives. They were cutting themselves and crying, yelling. Go ahead. And lances. La a, la a lancet is a sword. Lancet till they bl blood gush out of them, upon them. Hey. Verse 29, and it came to pass when the midday was passed, that they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was neither voice nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. Verse 30, and, Ye and Elijah said unto all the people, come near unto me, and all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the right, altar. Let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. Who did they have faith in, the heavenly father or that idol? Idol. Idol. They had faith in the idol. You see? They were wounding themselves for their idol, man, because they believed that that idol was truly a god. That was simple, man. Go ahead. It says, And he repaired the altar of the Lord Yahweh that was broken down. <laughs> but he said it. Jake don't do that in that coaching shit. Turkey. They be shaking and bouncing around oh, and dude. falling, busting their head all That's up this. Yeah, be busting their head. Get wake up and bleed. Yeah, by the family. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They leave the church gassed over and everything. Leave the church hurt. Leave the church straight to the emergency room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Verse 31. And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of Yahweh, and he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him upon the wood and said, fill four barrels with water, barrels with water, and pour it on the burning sacrifice and on the wood. And, and he said, do it the second time. And they said, and they did it the second time. And he said, do it the third time. And they did it the third time. Verse 35, and the water ran round about the altar and he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Yahweh, power of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art the power in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at, this, at thy word. Hear me, O, o Yahweh, hear me that this people may know that thou art the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. And it says, verse 38, then the fire of Yahweh fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their face, and they said, the Lord, he is the, he is the power. The Lord, he is the power. And, and Elijah said unto them, take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they took them. And Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and slew them there. That's so, right. That's so right. What you think going to happen to the pastors in them churches that believe in this and they 
teaching our people about this. What you think gonna happen? It's over with. Most people, Latinos, and Native Americans.